This is iOS 7 and a light colored background on an iPad where the icons are very difficult to read against that background. There is no way you can change the font size, the depth, the contrast, the color. You're stuck with white. So here are a couple of tips on how you can increase the contrast and legibility of your iPad. In settings, going to general, accessibility, and we're looking at the vision settings. There are a number of settings that will increase the legibility of the fonts and contrasts. First one is larger type. Now if I have a look at mail and just looking at the inbox that's quite small. The text of the email itself you can adjust with the pinch and zoom but you can't change by pinching or zooming anything in that inbox so it's quite small. So I go back into settings general accessibility and you have larger type. Now you can turn that on and adjust the size of the text and this will uh, change according to whatever app you're in. Some apps will take advantage of the dynamic type and adjust, some won't. So I've increased that a little bit and we'll go back to mail and it is bigger, larger, a little bit easier to read now in the inbox back into settings, general accessibility and increase the contrast and turn that on. So on some backgrounds depending on where you are that will help you to read it. Reduce the motion and turn that on if you want your wallpapers to be absolutely still and not move around when you move the iPad. That's called the parallax backgrounds. If you want to reduce that motion and stop all of that, turn it off there. On off labels, because that's changed also, it just gives you a little white vertical line so that you know when an option is turned on. So if you turn that on and go back into another setting, let's just go back into another setting and you can see there are multitasking gestures. It's now switched on and it has a white vertical line so that you know it is on. If you turn this off and then go back, it's just green. So these are these are accessibility options for vision impaired. So with uh, someone who's color blind who can't see greens and reds, um, it's difficult to know when you've got something turned on. So even for, for everyone else, just turning that on, it's easier to see if you've got an option turned on. The last one is to bold the text because when I go back to that uh, background, it's it's not bold, it's a flat design, so they say. Uh, white text, a font that is difficult to read and no way to change it. So I go back to settings, general accessibility, turn bold text on and this will restart the iPad. So let's come back when that's finished. So it's, it's restarted and already on the lock screen you can see the text is bolder. So this is the home screen with the text a little bolder. And it's still difficult to read against the, the, the light background. I, mean, I would prefer to be able to change the colour so that it's got dark text against the light background. But if I change the, the wallpaper and pick a darker background, so that's in settings, wallpapers and brightness. And going to a still background. And I mean, this, these are all the backgrounds you have. It's not really a great deal to choose from. And the only one I think I, that I like, which is least distracting, is this one. So I'm going to pick this one. Choose it. That's easier to see the white. Set that on the home screen. This is the dark background. The text has been made bold and added contrast and it's easier to read. So if I go from screen to screen I can now read those labels.